do another teleport. We'll take that one. And come here where we can find anti-fairies and a whiz robe way over there somewhere. Oh, super, this thing shows up too. Why? 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 That was not good. That was not good at all. But I changed back, so no permanent harm done. So get one of the hearts, get a couple hearts. All right, we're out of here. We're going east. That's our main goal anyway. This looks familiar. We will head south from here. South through here. Let's just avoid these guys if I can. That's right, I'm not at full health. All right, so here. Remember we opened this and didn't do anything with it? Let's head west from here and this starts to look pretty familiar. We're back in the central hub room, so to speak. I want this. Well, I needed it, thanks to getting hit by anti-fairies. Should be fine. All right. What we want to do is head to the southeast one once more. Where are you going, buddy? All right. Now, I believe this is the one where I need to be quick. This is what happens when you mess up. Instead, you want to go this way. Wait for it and head east one more time. All right, hook shot over there and then make a dash for it. Or we could stop, that also works. But back here we can get the Cade of Samaria. It will be very helpful if you make proper use of it. Thanks for the specifics. What a mysterious cane. So what this does, as the, uh, the things catch up to me here, what it does is it creates a block for you to push around, which is useful in quite a few situations. But we got ourselves the item. As a result, we have at least one item everything here, in every slot here. It's the last item in our inventory. Works out quite nicely. It's not the last item we're gonna get, but it does complete our inventory screen, which is always nice. I like having that. I'm still gonna have the hookshot on though. Now that we have the Cane of Samaria, it is time to start heading for the boss. That's going to be a little difficult though. We do need to do some backtracking. Get out of my way, please. Thank you. We just want to head through right now. We need to head back to the last room where we teleported to, which is this room right here. And I will try to sneak past the anti-fairy and through the big door here. Let's see what we got over here. Nice, I'll take it. Then we can head across this other bridge and down into basement number two. That seems particularly scary, especially since there's no lights around here. So I'm gonna try to go quickly. I wanna head into the southeast room here. I do have a key for it. Probably because there's rupees here. There's really no other reason for me to do that. But it's nice, I'll take it. All right, this guy is there. Somehow I was able to get that. They're just shooting fireballs at me all the time now. All right, there is a thing that I need to permanently uh, put weight on a floor switch there. So King of Samaria works perfectly for that. Ta-da! All right, create it and get out of there. There's so many fireballs. I don't like hanging around there too much. Let's get the hook shot back on. Sure, why not? Clearly, I need the one rupee. Um, do I actually want to do anything else around here? I don't think so. I think that is it. Let's just head to the west here. And over here, we can find ourselves a room that I do not like. I just don't like this room. I really don't. <laughs> All right. Past that. I think I can just hang out down here from now on. I don't think there's anything underneath, underneath these skulls. All right. So this room can be a bit of a hassle, especially when I, I get stuck on conveyor belts. All right, so I'm gonna need a bomb for this. The hell's going on? All right, that's the door that I need to hit. It's kind of difficult to hit it though. Kind of difficult. What I want to do is wait for that. What the hell? I just get stuck on a conveyor belt from time to time when I get stuck in a corner. All right, drop the bomb, pick it up, throw it down there. A little late, a little early I should say. Hold on to it there. No, that's not gonna work. 
This is just a bonus too. I don't I don't need that. Alright! Well we made it. Sure. I got hit a whole bunch, but I made it. That's the important bit. This was all for rupees. Was it worth it? No. But I felt like I had to do it. It's like one of those challenge things, right? It's not necessarily an easy thing. They're kind of challenging me to do it. Corners and conveyor belts. I don't get along very well. All right, this is the way I'm supposed to go. So we're gonna head in here where we can... Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait there for a little bit. Let's get the boomerang out. In here, I wanna hit that. There we go. You wanna hit the switch, turn it red, and head back here. Then I can head in here. And unfortunately, the anti-fairies are still going. I would hope that they wouldn't, but I'm not necessarily in control of the anti-fairies. This is not good. Uh, let's try to get the magic powder going. It's difficult for me to time properly, but you get a fairy out of it. That's the important bit. Okay. We got him. What I need to do in order to move forward is bomb up there. And then up here, we can find another switch. Very nice. And then we can head out and head this way. We will wait. Let's head to the west. All right, I can see again. I like that. You know, seeing. All right, the goal, ugh. Uh, really? Just so much drain there. All right, have to turn that red. That's an important bit. Super. Okay. God, these things are just flying everywhere. I was hoping to get more magic, but we're just gonna head up. We're just gonna head up. Here I have to go around. Once again, it being red was important. And then I can head through the door here. For boss time! Hang out in the corner. It just spam. If you hang out in the corner, he shouldn't hit you with the lightning. That's kind of the goal right now. We're taking down eyeballs that are coming my way. So many eyeballs. All right, down go all the eyeballs. Now's the easy part. That was the hard part. Now he just comes at you, you stand still, and you hit him. Arrows work nicely, but so does sword. So I recommend sword. There's no delay on sword. And it's just that easy. Otherwise, you will get hit by the lightning a lot, and the lightning does a lot of damage. So, stay in the corner. You won't get hit by lightning. Down goes Vitreous, which makes me laugh because I work for an optometrist. All right, let's go ahead and grab the heart and the crystal. Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Ganon captured us because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. And then, using the wizard Aganyam as his pawn, he drew us to the dark world. After cracking the seal with our powers, he sealed us inside of these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters. But Ganon didn't plan on you, your getting this far. Now Princess Zelda is waiting for you inside of Turtle Rock. Please, hurry. Do you understand? I think I got the idea. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. And we did it! Hooray! We made progress. We got ourselves... How many are we up to? Oh, wrong button. There we go. We got ourselves one crystal to go. 
There we go, that's all we need. We are getting there. Before we take care of that last maiden, there are a few things that I wanted to take care of out in the world. So let's start by heading, probably here's fine, and using the magic mirror. Get back to the light world. We require quick transportation, and this is the best way to do it. Go ahead and get the flute. And warp on out of here. We want to start at Link's house. All right, from here, I want to head south. And then west. Where we can find some wooden stakes that need to be hammered. It's so much more satisfying when I miss in terms of sound. It's so weird. All right, I'm, I'm going to take care of that guy. All right, so underneath this stone right here, a portal to the dark world. Let's take it. That will save me a lot of time. Our goal today is actually back to where Link's house is in the light world. We're going to go to the bomb shop. I could use some bombs, but that's not the reason why we're going to be going there. Let's head up and head inside and see what I'm talking about. There is something new for sale. Take a look at that. In order to unlock that, uh, we do need to have beaten the last two dungeons that I went through, uh, the ice one and the swamp one, and you need to have saved the blacksmith's partner. Otherwise, that will not be there for you. What is it? Shopkeep, tell me of this thing. 100 rupees for 30 bombs. I also have a new super bomb in stock for only 100 rupees. Please buy it too, mister. And I will. We require one super bomb. Thank you very much. You can drop this bomb off anywhere. Press the A button. Please don't forget it. Now, if I remember right, I do have to, uh, like, never touch the button. You notice that it's following me. Similar to that treasure chest that we had before. I don't think I can get hit either. Uh, you definitely can't fall off the ledges. Don't, don't jump off ledges. You'll leave the bomb behind. Our goal today is the pyramid over here. That's where we're trying to go. So it's not too far, but there are a lot of things that I want to, you know, get through. Eh, I'm a little scared. A little scared, but we should be able to make it. It is only 100 rupees, but, you know, I want all the rupees that I still have. Oh, that's right. We have to hammer our way through this. There we go. Okay. We're, we're kind of through. Let's just let's just motor past that guy. I'm not gonna dash either. That would be bad. All right, then to the left here. We don't have to kill everything. We just have to go. All right. Let's head up the stairs to the left where we can find this. All right. Looks good to me. Three. Two, one. Oh, no, it's a longer thing than that. Two, one. Super Bob goes off and we can make it inside. Where we can find a pool here. Uh, so, this pool's similar to other pools we have seen before. What I'm going to want to do is, I think I have to, to walk up to it, right? Yes, this is the mysterious pond. Once you throw something in, what will you do? I'm going to throw an item. Select an item and press Y. Bow and arrow? Seems like a good idea to me. H hey there! Hello there! Did you drop this? This is the Fat Fairy. I, I didn't name her that. That's, that's what her name is. Uh, did you drop this? Yes, I did. You are an honest person. I like you. I'll give you something important. These are the silver arrows to give Ganon his last moment. You definitely need them. I know I no don't quite have the figure of a fairy. Ganon's cruel power is to blame. You must defeat Ganon. So we got ourselves the silver arrows. These are the silver arrows 
You need to defeat Ganon. Yes, they are required. This was required of us. But hooray, we did it. We got we got ourselves some silver arrows. But we're not done just yet. So let's leave and head back in. Now we want to walk up and throw something else in. Let's see. Let's see what I got. There we go. The tempered sword. Sure. I spent a lot of time trying to get this, combining the master sword with the blacksmith skill. Let's throw it away. And look who came back. Hello there. Did you drop this? Yes, I did. I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. So technically, we really do get rid of the Master Sword here in my mind, right? She gives us something else. She doesn't necessarily upgrade the thing we have. Just an interesting point there. But we got ourselves the Golden Sword. And here they kind of imply that was uh, upgraded though. Your sword is stronger. You can feel its power throbbing in your hand. And we got ourselves the golden sword. And with that, no, I, I don't want to throw anything else in. Don't do it. Yes, I won't do it. With that done, that is what I wanted to take care of for now. So that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by our always upgrading hero, Link. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>